Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you guys doing? Good morning. Fine, teacher. Thank you. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Thanks for asking. All right. Let's get started. Let's see. What is the objective of today's session? Well, let me just say. I want to share it with you. Okay. Okay, so we have, this is the class objective. Okay, so it says, can you help me read it? What's the class objective? Participants make a conversation about activities. Activities, and I'm missing some important detail here at work. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's see. So to get started, to get started, we're going to, well, let's say remember. Okay. So we're going to remember what we did in yesterday's session. Okay. So remember, what does it say over there? This is the instruction. Can you read it for me? It says, remember. What? Yesterday. What's about? Okay, so I'm sending you to work in groups, to work in groups. And when you are working in groups, you try to remember. Okay, so you say, I remember that yesterday we did this and that, and you start working on what you guys did yesterday. Are we okay? Yes. Okay, so this is just a discussion, okay? Try to remember, okay, what was the topic, all right? What activities did we do? What verbs do you remember if we talked about verbs, okay? So this is the only instruction right now, all right? Here we go. Yesterday, because I I fell asleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to discuss about about the, the yesterday. Yesterday. Yes, yes, please tell me. Uh, well, I remember I studied uh, about the topic germs germs. Uh, for me, is it was a difficult topic because I I I didn't understand. But but about the about the what? Parents. Yeah, I agree. We was verb yeah. I agree. Yes. Uh, also, I remember the three things we can use gerunds. For example, as a subject, when you use a gerund as a subject, uh, it's in the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, I will give you an example. A Please. fighting, yes, a fighting a good job takes time. So we are- You are all, all the days in the class. Maybe that is the reason. <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay. Um. Well, yesterday mm -hmm. we learn about uh, gerunds. Okay. And 
will learn three rules about gerunds. Um, we can use uh, the gerund as a subject, mm -hmm. <clears throat> after some verbs, and after prepositions. Okay. Um, if you want, um, I share my, my notes. Um, this is the, in summary, the Someone else remembered something else? In my case, I remember the same um, about ANG pair. Mm -hmm. um, it was difficult for me, but uh, finally I understood in the in the at the end of the of the class Okay, so we're back in the main session. Let's see, what do you guys remember about yesterday's class? Let's start, let's start making a quick review on what yesterday's session was about. So what was the topic? Let's see, yesterday's. Gerunds. It was gerunds. Okay, so this takes us, we're going to break it into parts because I know this topic we haven't mastered yet. We're still working on it. So the first question is, what, what is, what is a gerund? Okay, what is it? What's a gerund? It's, it's a verb, it's a verb uh, with ing. Okay, and the ing form. So, very good. What is an important detail about gerunds? Look, it doesn't, look, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean an action, you see, is happening at the moment. No, right? Mm -hmm. So, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? Okay. Let me see. Let's break it into parts so that it's more understandable for everyone. Okay, let's see. Over here. Okay, this is the second detail. All right. What, what is important to remember about gerunds? Okay. It is just what? It is just a grammar. A grammar what? A grammar? Hmm. Structure. It's just a grammar oh. structure. Okay. So this is like, it's a rule we have to follow. Like when you start working in a new workplace, you have to do what everybody does at the workplace, right? Even though it's sometimes hard to adapt, okay? But it is something you have to do. All right, so 
we need to keep these three things in mind. It's a verb in the ING form. It doesn't mean an action is happening at the moment, like in present progressive, because this is not present progressive. And it is just a grammar structure. Now, I'm gonna give you an extra detail that I gave you yesterday. If you want to translate, um, let's see. Okay, take a look at this one. What does it say over there? If you want... If you want to translate a sentence with general, it sounds like you are speaking in the infinitive form. If you're trying to translate the sentence, right. So once again, yeah. this, is just, this is just a grammar structure. Okay, in what cases, this takes us to a second question. Okay, in what cases is it possible to use a gerund as a subject. All right. Very good. As a subject of your sentence, right? Very good. Okay. What's another one? After, 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 after some, some verbs. Preposition. Some verbs. Oh, okay. After some verbs and after prepositions you said right very good very good and after prepositions now let's see let's take a look at some examples that we checked yesterday but i'm sending you this screenshot to the chat so that we can go back to this when we want to check some details okay Papa. Papa. One second. One Okay, it's in your chat already. So let's see. Okay, so these are the three cases in which we are supposed to use a gerund. Now you said the first one is as a subject, okay? Why do we say it is or it goes as a subject? Well, because we have to start with an activity, okay? Listen, I'm gonna type it over here, okay? So I don't understand this grammar term okay don't worry okay every time you start a sentence look take a look at this every time you start a sentence with what with a verb the verb good with an, act an activity or a verb okay take a look at it like that all right with a verb you have to use the gerund okay so this is not an option. So every time you start a sentence with an activity, with an action, with a verb, we need to use a gerund. Like in these two cases, let's read these cases again. Let's see, Chris Elda, help me read the two examples. It says, increasing result is mandatory. And then we have, producing high quality goods is our target. It's our target, okay. So imagine the situation, all right. It would be incorrect Listen, it would not be okay to say things like to increase our sales is mandatory or to produce high quality goods is our target. No, it is incorrect. But why, Adriana? I think it sounds good. Well, even if we think it sounds good, it is incorrect because the grammar rule tells me that I can never start a sentence with a verb 
in a different form. I need to use a gerund. Are we okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I need to use the verb in the ing form. Okay, the second one. The second one is after some verb. Ah, but how do I know that? Well, we need to memorize the verbs that we can use, all right? Now, when I give you a list of verbs, okay, let me show you. Let me show you from here. We're gonna check this later, okay? Right now we're trying to remember the information. But we have some verbs that go in the gerund list. Look, what verbs do you see here? Can you tell me? We don't have to read one by one, just the one that you want to say. Let's see, what verbs do we have in this list? Admit, advise. Okay. Allow, allow, advise. Okay, what else? Can help, can stand, All right. can I dislike, enjoy, okay. All right. say, finish, keep, 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 this rule doesn't apply to every verb in the world. No, it is just to some verbs. And in this list, we have some of those verbs. Now, what do you need to remember? We apply the, the gerund rule to the next verb, okay? Never to the verb in the list. We apply the rule to our second verb. For example, let's take a look at the verb finish, okay? Finish. It's a very common verb, okay. Now, for example, how do we say, what is the past of finish? I wanna, oh. I wanna give you an example in the past. Finished. 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 Okay, I finished. And the activity is? Eating. All right, Eating. very good. So you say, when you say, hey, uh, hey guys, I finished. Eating. 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 I lunch let's go okay i finished all right so this is the rule all right this is the rule oh okay adriana okay so give me an example in the present form this give me an example in the present form okay um all right so i say wait for me until i what until i Finish. Finish. Finishing. Finish. Okay, to the to this verb, we don't apply the rule. We need to use another, right? So okay. until I finish, what action do you want to say? Oh, the same one, right? Oh, okay. okay. So this one, let me pull this out over here. Okay. All right. This is in the present and this is in the past. So you see, the gerund rule is not affected by the tense you're using. You can speak in the present, in the past, or in the future. Okay, in this case, all right, it is not affected by what you are saying in the tense. So look, the rule is telling me that if I use a verb from the list that is here, the, and I want to use another action, I need to use the action in the gerund form. Not the verb in this list, but the other verb I want to use to express myself. Are we okay? Yes? Okay, let's let's take another one. Okay, dislike. Dislike is another common verb. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna type my, my example here, okay? Uh, over here. Let's see. So, okay, give me the name of a person. The name of a person. Karen. Okay, so we say, Karen, do you want an example uh, in present, in the past? or in the future in the past in the future. okay well we'll do it one in the past and we'll do one in the future okay how does this like sound in the past mm, disliked ah. so we're talking about something karen already did yes yes okay mm. about an experience that karen lived so we say karen disliked what activity? Listen. 
Ah, listening to what? Listening to rock music. To rock music. Oh. Rock music. So maybe rock music. So take a look at this. Maybe or or for sure, Karen never listens to rock music. Right? And maybe I came and I say and I said, Hey Karen, let's listen to some rock music. This happened yesterday. And Karen said, Yeah, okay. And we listened to music. But at the end, when we finished, Karen said, Adriana, I don't like your rock music. So then I come here to you and I say, hey guys, listen, Karen, what happened? Karen, it's like, it's like listening to listening. rock music <laughs> with me yesterday. So rock music is not for her. You see, this is not a thing for her. All right. We're doing an example in the future. Okay, let's try to put it over here. Okay, so, all right. Allow, what is the synonym for allow? I permit. Permit, right. perfect, that is a great synonym. Okay, so let's see. My, my mother, let's see, my mother, negative? For the future? Not. Well, not. Well, not. Well, let's say one, right? Because one of some space one. matters. Thank you. One allow what activity? Mm. What could be an activity? Mm. Going out to the party. <laughs> okay. One allow going out to the party so let's stay home you see so let's teacher but it doesn't include uh the um let's see the uh, uh, no no it's not the adjective the uh, i mean two in the in between one and allow no mm -hmm. i mean between allowed mm -hmm. and going no, that's an include. No, because we're talking about gerund, right? If we say two, okay. then we will transform it into an infinitive form. You see? So we need to use a gerund. Okay. Allow us in this list, gerund form. Okay. Ah, oh, this is in okay. the future. Good question. Now, okay, enjoy. You see, enjoy is another common verb. Okay. All right. So we say present, past, or future. What do you want? Past. Yeah. What is the past of enjoy? Enjoyed. 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 Okay. Who enjoyed something in the sentence? Who do you want to write about? Who was it? Give me a subject. Marina. Marina. Okay. All right. So we are saying something about Marina. Marina in the past, we say Marina. Enjoyed. enjoyed what what did she enjoy what did she enjoy she enjoyed driving okay that's a nice, nice one driving where she's her new car oh right driving wow she enjoyed driving her new car give me a specific situation when when? Because we're speaking about the past. Her new car? Yes, sir. On the road. Okay. Her new Last car? Week. Okay. On the road. Medardo said on the road. Good. On the road. Last. Oh, you said yesterday. Let me pull this out because I have no more space over here. On the road, we say yesterday or last week? What do you want? Yesterday. Okay. <laughs> All right, you see? So we're speaking about the past. So this is the grammar rule that tells me that, I, that if I'm using any of the verbs here and I want to talk about a different activity, the next verb has to go in the gerund form. Are we okay so far? Teacher, yes. I have a question. Yes. 
uh, if the verb is irregular, uh, always use the ENG. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what type of verb you're using. The verb does not matter. What you need to pay attention here is the verbs in the list. Look, repeat with me. It says ver verbs, ver verbs, 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 followed, followed, followed by Karen. Okay. Listen, if you're using any of these verbs, I don't care. If you want to use cook, if you want to use uh, bake, if you want to use run, or let's see, eat, regular or irregular verbs, we don't, we don't care about uh, the rule of regular or irregular verbs. You need to use a gerund. That's all you know. If you're using these verbs, what follows is a gerund. Are we okay? Yes? Yeah? Okay. okay, so this is for the time being. All right. Now, so this is the second, this is the second rule, right? All right. What is the third one? Okay. What is the third one? Do you guys remember? The third situation is after, after the preposition. All right. So, Olga, help me read the two examples here. I'm interested in buying raw material. Good. I, I'm concerned about asking for money. Okay. What are the prepositions in these two situations? In, in about. about. Okay. In these cases, in these cases, these prepositions are accompanied always by a verb. They are best friends. Look, it's like they are best friends. Take a look. We're going to close this up so that we can highlight it. Okay. Look. So what is the verb in here? The verb is interested in, and the verb in here is concerned, concerned, about. concerned about. So if we use this, um, these combination of verbs, they go together. This is not like you're selecting what different prepositions you can use. No, you will use a verb that goes accompanied by a specific preposition. Okay, so we just need to memorize them. Now, also, teacher, we have adjective plus preposition, right? Exactly, exactly. So let's see. Now, in but in this case, we're paying attention to this to this detail. All right, give me a second. Okay, so let's see. I want to show you something. This is, this is taking us to our next activity. Okay, let me display my screen over here. Okay, take a look at, take a look at this one. I don't know if you're able to read the name of this, of this presentation. It says, the gerund, can you read it? The gerund for after prepositions. After prepositions. All right, so I have some questions, okay? Now, but we're gonna discuss these questions all together to check the first example. And then I'm sending you to work together. Oh my God, I have some issues with the screen, let's see. Okay, let's see. Carol, help me read the first question. What's the first question? Okay, what activities are you afraid of? Okay, this is the first one afraid of what is the what is the verb that goes accompanied by a preposition here afraid 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 what afraid of of, of. of. afraid of all right afraid of. okay good let's see wendy what's the second question what activities are you excited about what is the verb with the preposition about. excited about excited about excited about okay Douglas, help me read number three. What activities are you interested in? Interested. Okay. All right. And that's the verb. Interested in. Interested okay. in. Number four. Let's see who else is here. Medardo, help me read number four. What activities are you res res responsible for at work? Okay. What is the verb with a preposition? Responsible for. Responsible for. Responsible for, okay. Responsible for. 
Yes, very good. Let's see who else is here. Okay, Ruth Marina. Let's see, help me read the next question. This one here. Oh, she might not be listening. Sandy, help me read the next one. What activities are you good at? Okay, what's the verb with the preposition? Good at. Good at. Beatrice, very good. What is the last one, Beatrice? What activity is your department are you in charge of? Oh, I think this was supposed to say in your department. Okay, but this is my bad. This is my mistake. Okay, so what activities in your department are you in charge of? In All right. Charge. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. All right, take a look at the first question. All right. What? are you afraid of what activities what are you afraid of mm. take a look at my example here this is true can you read it i'm afraid, I'm afraid of, of watching horror movies. Horror movies. i'm afraid of watching horror movies i never watch horror movies <laughs> tell me okay what are you afraid of answer with an activity tell me what are you afraid of if you are afraid of something, if not, then it's all good. What activities are you afraid of? Take a look at this example. I'm afraid of walking at night oh, alone. Walking alone, right? Good. Very good example. Listen, I'm afraid of walking, she says, alone. All right. Oh. Anybody else? Um, I'm afraid of... <laughs> okay, we're going to have Beatrice and this was Ruth, Karen. right? No, who I'm was it? I'm, a, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. I'm afraid to jumping. I'm afraid to jumping to of, the river. Of, okay, one more time. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of to jumping. Of, of jumping. Okay. Jumping. Oh. <laughs> of jumping to the river okay oh. all right into a river okay yes okay. yes rivers can be a little scary beatrice you were saying yes i am afraid of catch catching mouse <laughs> catching a mouse yes. i understand it i, I can understand your feeling okay anybody else what are, are you afraid, afraid of looking looking darkness place places one more time. Of? I am afraid of looking darkness places. Looking. Looking darkness places. Down. Let's see. Can you? Darkness. I, I, oh. Dark, dark, dark. dark places. Darkness. Oh, dark. I think I think what you're trying to say is this. Let me help you. Let's see. Okay. Let's write it down over here. I think you're trying to say being in dark places like this, when you are in dark places? Yes. All right, good. Okay, so one more time. I'm afraid of, repeat it, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid of. afraid of. And then? Afraid of. Being in dark places. In dark places. In dark places. Good, yes. Me too. To be honest, me too. It's the same situation here. All right, let's see. Let's move on to the next one. So my next question was, what? What activities are you excited about? All right, what activities are you excited about? Tell me. What? Help me read my example. It says? I'm excited, I'm excited about to go to, to other countries. Other countries. Oh. So this makes me very excited. What about you? The same. The same? That's fine, okay. Any other? I am excited about losing weight. Good, that sounds good. Very good for well-being. Very good, okay. What else? I am excited about learning English. That is good, that sounds good. Very good, All right? What about the rest? I'm excited about receiving new good news. Good news, that's wonderful, mm. of course. Very good, you are right. Good, you see, 
we're checking some verbs that go accompanied by a preposition. So we just need to remember that if I'm using a verb that goes accompanied by a preposition, I have to use a verb in the gerund form. Let's continue with our next question. All right, let's see. Help me read this one. It says, what activities are you interested in? Interesting. Okay, Interesting. And, and my example is, what does it say over there? Okay, what about you guys? Tell me about you, about yourselves. I am interested in, uh, I don't know, how, so seeding? Okay. Plants? All right, that's good. All right, all right. What about the rest? I don't know if it's okay. I'm interested in doing yoga. Yes, it's perfect. It's a perfect example. Very good. What about the rest? Anybody else? Teacher, when uh, when we use, I am interested in uh, to read, read or reading book in English. Is a uh, present progressive? Uh, no. Listen to yourself. You said to read. That is, I am interesting. Oh, interesting. No, interesting, interesting. We interesting. use interesting with ing. We use when we when we are saying that something. Listen, that something has the quality, the quality to make me feel interested in something. For example, I can say. What do I say? Books? Books are, Books are interesting. Okay, interesting. one more time. Interesting. One more time. Let's repeat it. Okay. Interesting. All right. Interesting. So, books are interesting. What quality does the book have, in my opinion? Or what quality do books have, in my opinion? They are interesting. interesting. Oh. interesting. Okay, what if I say. What about documentaries? Do I think documentaries are what? Interesting. Interesting. So when I use when I use the adjective in the ing form, I am saying my perception. I am talking about what I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I say. Oh, I think. I think Madonna. Just to give you an example. I, all right. I don't think so. But. I think Madonna is an interesting woman. Mm, I think she's very interesting. Oh, I think um, Chris Hemsworth, the actor, is very interesting. Okay, this is what I think. Mm -hmm. But when I say I am interested in something with ED, I am talking about my feelings, how I feel. Are we okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is why I say I'm interested. It's like saying I, uh, I'm talking about my yeah. interests, right? Mm -hmm. In reading books in English. Okay. okay. Can you tell me more examples about what you guys are interested in? Uh, will be cooking, baking. For example, things? I'm in, I'm in, I'm interested on, um, in, in learning English. That is good. Very good. And that's why you guys are all here. Very good. All right. That is a good example. Now let's get rid of this one because we need to move on to the second slide. Now let's see. Oh, right. So, so from, oh, okay. Take a look. What activities are you good at people? What activities are you good at? Are you good at cooking? I am good at sleeping. <laughs> All right, that is a nice skill, very good. But the, the, the example is great, okay. What other activities are you good at? Oh, listen, some I'm people good, say. Uh -huh. I'm good at cooking. Good. Ah, I know people who are good at, what would be the, the verb, at? Listening to others. Yes, very good. 
because not everybody is good at this, but some friends are good at listening to others. Yes. Okay, very good. Oh, take a look at the next question. What activities, um, what activities in your department are you in charge of? So you guys say, I'm in charge of, okay. What, at work? What are you guys in charge of at work? Of sales. I'm, I'm in charge, charge of, of sales. Okay. All right. Making making projects. Making projects. Good. Anybody else? I am in charge of interview. 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 Interviewing. Interviewing. What? Interviewing uh, candidates or people. Yes. Okay. For. Um. To, to to be hired, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Oh, I'm in charge of what? Of calling. taking taking ah, calls. Calling or taking calls. That's good. Very good. Are we okay, guys? Yes. Yes. All right. Let me send you. Let me send you a screenshot. All right. Of these questions, so that you can take a look at them when you guys review your classes. Okay. Let's see. So, this is taking us to our next activity. All right, let me display my screen. Where is it? Where is it? It's here. No, this is not the one. Let's see. Just give me a second. All right. Now, I'm going to show you a list of verbs. And the first thing to do is to check, is to check if, if we understand the meanings of all the verbs in this, in this purpose, in this presentation. Okay, one second. Okay, so the verbs, even the verbs that are in purple are included. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Is there any verb that is new for you? Or are we okay? Can this stand? Can't stand. Okay, anybody can help me describe can't stand. Can. What would be another um, synonym for can't stand? Can handle it? No. Okay, could we? All it's right. Like B. All right, no, no, me, it's not like B. Let me type, let me type something. Like, what's the verb? Tolerate. Uh, tolerate. You know, tolerate. Tolerate. It is like it's when standing. something happens, you're like, no, no, no. It makes you angry. Mm -hmm. Maybe the situation makes you angry, but this is like, no, I can't take this. No, you see, can't stand. All right, all right. So this is that this means that you never tolerate a situation because you don't like it because it's not something that that makes you happy because it makes you sad or it makes you angry. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right. Give me a second. I uh, I just lost my controls over here. Okay, here they are. Okay. Okay, so check your chats. All right. Okay. okay All right. Thanks. Now, let's see. Any other verb? That is can't stand. That is can't stand. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Not only, not only can't stand. All right. What's another verb? Or are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. okay. We're okay. Anybody? Oh, yeah, we're okay. Okay. So, what are we doing? Okay, I want to see two examples per category. What are the categories when we are supposed to use gerunds? Okay, we are supposed to use gerunds. Oh, it's a subject. As a subject. subject. Prepositions. After some verbs and after and verbs. Right. Here we go. Okay, so let me send you to working groups. Everybody helps. Okay, if you're working in a group you need to participate okay this is 
this is necessary. If you participate, you learn. You're making sure that the information is clear. Okay, let me send you the screenshot after you guys go to your group sessions. Here we go. She said that we have to do two examples for each category. Yes, I think one okay. or, or... Right here, two. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember about the song with the first verb. Can stand. The, fir the first is can, yes, can stand. It's a song that I heard from Elvis Presley. Have you heard? I no. no. It's a little old, the song. Really? Oh, I can stand. Stand falling. Okay. Mm. Do you remember? Have you hear that song? Where, where are you? No, no, I no. can't remember. Okay, but it's an example. I think I remember, okay. it, and it's a good example. Very good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I have an example with Jerome after a birth. Okay. Uh, if you don't find a job immediately, uh, keep trying. Okay. If you don't don't find a job immediately. Trying. It's correct, ladies. I can think. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, subject. Uh, uh, after all, yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay, start. Okay, um. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, and hey, let me see. Uh, 
Maybe um, I enjoy swimming. In the pool? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I it's a... am... Okay. What? Late. I hate what? I hate eating. 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 I, I hate... Eating late. I hate eating late. This um, okay. Um, after, after proposition. After proposition. Is. After the preposition, <coughs> maybe she interesting. I don't, I don't know if it's correct this, but I did in this travel, traveling around the world. I think so. I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More interested in cooking. New dishes. What? The big bliss? My mother. Uh, my mother. Uh -huh. The rest is. My mother. I hate working in. In holiday. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. Suggest, 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 suggest. Um, I will in future, maybe in future, um, Okay. So what is solid? So I mean is so it is. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. I suggest eating right now. Okay. We suggest we suggest eating right now. Feel like. Okay. You feel like. Um, what do you think, Monica? You can. You can talk. Or Beatrice. If if you like um, dancing.
or subject, please. Yeah, I'm thinking. No, just the subject. I don't understand the term. Is the, the gerund as a subject, we start the verb with ing. It's an activity. Ah, okay. Uh, for example, treating or eating. Yes, but I think we have to use the verbs in the in the box that the teacher mm -hmm. sent us. Like loving, keeping, enjoying. Maybe continuing trainings with our employees. Okay. Um. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. Olga. Olga enjoy. ¿Cómo se diría? Spending time with her daughter. Enjoy. I think that enjoy, uh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. It. Is With it past or, or present, like a routine? Where's the tense? Present. Okay, so we need to Olga add enjoy. Enjoys? A, a spending time. All right, we say a, YS, enjoys. Olga enjoys. Enjoys, ah, okay. All right. Um, okay. Spending time with her daughter. Okay, the verbs in, in present teacher, the verbs is uh, regular forms. Yes, you need to conjugate verbs. You That's why you can make sentences in the past, in the present, or in the future. You see? Um, look, you have an example in the future here. I will suggest, that's good. My father, this is present, it needs an S. My father avoids. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Verbs all the yes. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. One more again. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Olga. Copy. <laughs> <laughs> Seek. Seeking. And you're seeking. No. The verb is. Oh, for you. Catching. The Catching. verb is get. The verb is get. You say get. Uh, getting. Good. Getting. Very good. Getting. 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 COVID. COVID. Oh, yes. Nighty. Increase the case again, no? Yes. Increase.
Okay, we're back on the main session and we're about to check the first examples or the first creations here. Let's see. I'm not sure if this will look good from over here. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Okay, so we have, we're ready. Are you ready? Let's start with the examples over here. Okay, the creators from this group, you guys can start reading your examples. Okay. And October is I enjoy swimming in the pool. Mm -hmm. I hate eating later. <laughs> later, I, me too. I agree with you. Okay. <laughs> After proposition, uh, she interested in traveling around the world. My mother interested in cooking new dishes. He like a soldier. Cooking my favorite food made, made me happy. Thinking of the shower, enjoying me. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Very good examples. These are great. In the examples after prepositions, she is interested in. You see? She is interested in. Are we okay? Oh, okay. All right. And in the second one, my mother, what goes is, next? Is, is, is interested, is interested in. in. Very good. This one's great. Cooking my favorite food makes me happy. That's a great one. And this one, singing the shower is a closed area. So we're going to say in the shower, in the shower right? Okay. In the shower. Okay. Enjoy, in this case, we will have to, to change for another way to describe it. Um, because you could easily say, I enjoy singing in the shower. Right? It will be, relax me. Good. Singing in the shower relaxes me. Relaxes One more time. Me. Relaxes me. Relaxes me. Good. Very good. These are great examples. Very good job, guys. Very good. All right, let's see. What about, I think somebody else sent me a picture. Yes. Oh, okay, this is a long list. Let's see, take a look. All right, guys, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. The first. I can, I can yes. smell listening sound of traffic. Okay. Um, I Okay, I'm dressing in show sitting pants. Number three. Forgive me for loving you so much. <laughs> for loving you so much. Okay. You hate standing in the traffic. We saw yes. it. Yes, we, please. We saw it eating right now. He feel like dancing like. in the carnival of San Miguel. Okay. The next, Mazzaro. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, they have a, a boy working in the downtown. Beatrice? Continue. Or Monica? I, I enjoy swimming in the pool. She continues studying English. We are afraid of carrying the COVID-19. Uh, 19. 19, yes. We love a sliding house with a family. We keep driving in right side. Okay, great ideas. All right, we're just, we're just adding some twists to some of the ideas. Okay. But I think I need to make this to minimize this. Okay, so since I know what you guys wrote, I'm gonna start making the observations here. Oh. All right, I can stand listening to, listening to. So we're gonna listening say, to sound. listening to, listening to the sound 
repeat with me. Listening to the sound of traffic. Listening to the sound of traffic. All right, there you go. All right. Okay, number two. What is the verb in number two? After interceding. It is so. So sitting. So seeds. So All right. So seeds. The verb so. is so seeds. Okay. Okay, in these two, in these two words, which is the verb? The verb is so or the verb is seeds? So. The verb is so. Right. So we say, I'm interested in? Sowing. Sowing. Sowing seeds. Oh, sowing okay. Seeds. Okay. 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 All right. Right. Now, let's see. Teacher, what is sowing seeds? Let me show you. So oh, I didn't know it. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, let's see. One second, my internet is a bit lazy. All right. It is the action of putting uh, plant seeds in the ground. So yes, plant is a synonym. Yes. Sowing. Uh, Sowing. Okay. Uh -huh. It is when you when you want to uh, reproduce your plants or some fruits. It depends on what you want. Okay. So we so yes, that's the activity. Okay, so we were here, right? Okay. The next one. We said, oh, this is just pronunciation. We suggest suggest. 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 All right. Suggest. Now, okay. He feel like. What do we need to do with feel like? We say? Feels. Thank you. Hmm. He feels like. We need to conjugate verbs. Re remember, we can make sentences in any tense. So, he feels like. Feels like. Dancing, hmm. right? And then everything else you wrote. Okay. okay. Now I enjoy swimming. That's great. Okay. She continues. Continues. Continues studying, yeah. right? Okay. Studying. Very good. Now we're afraid. That's good. Okay. We love staying in the house. In the house. Right. And we keep driving on the right side on the right side all we right keep, we keep, he keeps, keeps driving he keeps driving. oh he keeps right it keeps. he keeps thank you all right he keeps driving he keeps on the right side on the right on side the right. there you go okay very good all right now let's see what about the next group? Let's see, the next group. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Help me read your examples, guys. Uh, Olga, uh, Christopher, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> but <laughs> Whoever who was in the group, okay. okay. <sighs> Olga, go ahead. Okay, I can stand eating meat at night. I'm interested in watching new season of Grey's Anatomy. I hate working in holiday. Karen? Okay, I will suggest, suggest making new rules. My father avoids eating spaghetti. Olga enjoys spending time with her daughter. Do Tell her. Um, we continue learning English this year. I'm afraid of seeing a crocodile in my house. <laughs> this sounds very much like me. Okay, let's see. Great examples. Let's see. Um, I'm interested in watching um, the the new season. We're just missing the right. The new season. And in this case, look, in this case, we don't need the verb to be. Okay. So we just say, I, okay. 
this is I want to I want to ask you something. Is this routine or you're talking about a very specific experience uh, that happened last holiday? Or this is all the time. You just hate doing this activity when it's a holiday. All the time. All the time, right? So in this case, it's present, right? So um, um, I hate working on holidays. On holidays. Okay. Holidays. Okay. holidays. Good. This is all the time. I'm gonna die, and I will always hate doing this activity. Okay. Now, the next one, um, pronunciation, suggest. 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 Okay, this is, okay, pronunciation here. Daughter. 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 Two syllables. Daughter. 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 Okay. Daughter. And, okay, I've seen a cockroach. Yeah, that's good. Great examples, guys. Very good. Okay. So for today's session, we were going to work on a conversation, but we needed to reinforce the topic a little bit more. So what we're doing in the last few minutes of our session is to check your exam because it's already ready. Okay, now I am going to explain the points that, that were evaluated in the exam and how you can understand your results, okay? Let's see. Just give me one if, one second. Let's go to your course. All right, let me display my screen here. Okay, so this is your course and your exam. Midterm. Now I just want to check the setup over here so that you guys can check your score. Okay, can yeah. All students after the attempt is implemented. So you're able to see your answers already, okay. Now, grading. Okay, I'm gonna show you the highest score, okay. And in order to check this one, okay. So in this case, the right answer was these, right? Because the person is on the shoes, right? These. No. Okay. In the second case, it was those. Those. Very good. Now, in number three, in number three, this apple because it's singular. Yeah, this, this, this apple. This apple. This apple. That book. That book. In this book. one, the correct answer is this book because he is holding the book. Holding the book. Okay. Um, right. Yes. Okay. This book. I, I think in that question, yes, I got I put that. Mm -hmm. But it yeah, was incorrect. Me too. Because he is holding the book in his hands. Oh. <laughs> he yes. has two hands and he has the book in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. It, was, it was tricky. It was a tricky question. Uh -huh. okay. 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 A little piece now, of cover there. In this way, <laughs> we have those pencils. Those, those pencils. Those pencils. And in this case, we say, are these? Are these? Uh, are these? What are these? What are these? Ah, they are grapes. So many grapes. Okay. And what is that? What is that? It's a house, right? What is that? Right. No. How many, How many pencils? How many pencils? How many this one. Pencils Look, this is why I gave you um, the picture of a constellation because we can count stars. But yeah. I told you that if you start, you will never finish. Mm -hmm. But it is possible, right? Okay. Now, in this one, take a look. What's for dinner tonight? Mm. Well, we may have to eat out. There's nothing in the fridge. Oh, you see the person asks, what's for dinner? And there's nothing. Someone's mm. knocking on the door. 
I'll go see who it is. The next one. When, when Ashley, Ashley going, going to graduate. To graduate. To graduate. Listen, to graduate. 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 And next, next month. month. Next month. Next what month. are you guys, guys uh -huh. going to do next weekend? Next weekend. We are going to We're visit, going to visit our, our grandma. grandma. Okay. Now this one. Sue woke up late today. Mm. She may be late, late, late for the work today. today. Okay. So she woke up late, but she's still coming to work, right? Okay. The next one. Karen. Karen didn't, didn't come, to, come work. to work. She might, she might, she be, might sick. Be, be sick. Maybe sick. Okay. The Smiths. The Smiths are not, are not at the party. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. oh, they might, they be, might late. be late. We say they because it's the Smiths. It's a family, right? Okay. Yes. And then we have she. She, she didn't, didn't send any report, report today. 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 She will do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. 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 Okay. In this, um, in this case, in the eleven, you have four. Four points. Four, by four, four points. Mm -hmm. Or you have a, a point which you have uh, all the sentence. Oh, if you have two correct answers, you have two points. If only one is perfect, you have one point. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. okay. I think I, I got the, the words is correct. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see, um, I don't remember. Let's see. Uh, okay, in this one, we had three options, right? Three okay. options. So, mm -hmm. so the right ones were, Mark is going to be 13. 13. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a party. They're going to have a party, yes. Sunny. And, and songs. they're going Sing to songs. Songs. Yes. Yes. I failed. Well, <laughs> mm. I don't have like, uh, I don't have five, uh, a very, very bad scores. I have in between. I have sevens. I have nines. Mm. Um, so it's not like some someone has a two of a score. That is bad. No, uh, in, that, in, that didn't happen. In my case, in my case, I have two. To correct and only incorrect, but in the points only have zero by three. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, take a look at. I think this one was a uh, was the most confusing one, and the one yeah. you got confused. But look, look. Yes, I do understand. We're supposed to complete it like this. Skateboard. So listen, you just have to write the verbs of it. And you can. And the person says, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I ran it up. Really love 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 go fast. Fast. Some of you selected, can you fix a car? But a car in this case, that's fast. not the right answer because the person says, I really love to go fast. Yes. Now we have, mm -hmm. uh, can... Can Brittany tell Brittany. 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 Good, good job? Good job. No. No, she no, she can't. She can. It's She's not, not very funny. funny. Very funny. Okay. okay, so good good jokes, right? Yeah. Some of you selected play chess, but play chess is not a game that is related to win. Now we have... Yes. Can Carlos bake a cake? Bake a cake. Yes, yeah. he can. He can. Yeah. He can. He's very good cook. He's, very good. He's a very, very good, good cook, cook. right? Okay, so this is this is it. Okay. So now remember, every time we do an exam over here, I always need to check it. So it doesn't matter. I most of the times I I uh, I set up the exam so that you can't see the answers at the end, so that you can't see your score. Okay. Now, but if you happen to see it. Okay, if you can see it at the end of your of your of your exams, uh, that is not your real score because I have to come here and check it. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to show you another situation.
teacher. Tell me. What's your question, Chrisella? Are, are we going to have a, a test this coming Friday? Um, no, we're going to have the last test when we finish the module. Uh, and when are we going to finish it? Let me check. I'm, I'm going to tell you in a minute. This okay. finishes. I'm asking you because I was I was checking the 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 link of the of the Zoom and it said that the the last date is uh, on March, March 26th. March 26th, mm -hmm. but it's going to be on the 27th because we had to suspend 27th. one session. Do you remember? One day we didn't have a class. So that means uh -huh. that we extend the module. So it's going to be on the 27th. Okay. Teacher, 27 is Saturday. Saturday. So, <laughs> so we are having classes on Saturday. No, right. No. We're, um, so we're finishing. <laughs> let's see. We're finishing. <laughs> on Monday. No. Uh, Monday it's vacation oh, time. Twenty-six. So we're <laughs> after vacation. Um, vacation. On Monday, yes. Monday the fifth. Monday. Really? Monday fifth. We're finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So this is what I wanted to talk, to show you. Rick, look. In this case, this person just selected two correct answers. So I gave the person two out of three. You see, this is this, the system doesn't do automatically. I have to come here and do it because the system says everything is incorrect. So I have to come mm -hmm. here and check if you have correct answers to give you the, the score. Okay. You see, and in this one, yeah. look, I gave you some points for the good answers you had. Okay. Now, it's for you for the one incorrect answer. Okay, but I gave you points. Because, because in this type of exams, if you have incorrect answers, it doesn't give you any points. So this is why, this is why I always come and check exam by exam. Okay? Okay, very good. So let's take your attendance. Here we go. Uh, can you show the person for the, the time in the class? Can I show? Um, the person, the person. Oh, the attendance. Okay. The attend yes. Okay. <laughs> Marlon Douglas? Present. Okay. Karen Seas? Present. Vilma Yolanda? Present. Georgina Cruz? Present. Uh, Olga Lidia. Present. Beatriz Garay. Present. Ruth Marina Gomez. Present. Criselda Gonzalez. Present. Uh, Diego Enriquez is not here. No, it's not here. Mardo Luna. Present. Okay, Vincent Marroquín. Present. Okay, Christopher Marroquín. Christopher is here, I guess. Elizabeth, Her Elizabeth Jerusalén. She was here. Okay, Monica Mendez. Present. Michelle Murray. She was here too. Yes, okay. Michelle, Carol Rosales. Okay, thank you. Present. Thank you. Uh, here. Let's okay, see. Uh, either. Sandy Santos. Present. And Wendy Roxana. Present. Oh, guys. Okay. If you need to go, you can go. All right. And I will okay. see you tomorrow. Okay. I am sending you. I am sending you this. This sheet once I have finished. Okay. But let's see. Teacher, I had a question. I can see my grade at Escology. Um, try to refresh it. 
let's see if you can ah, see okay. it because I just um I just allowed it. If if you cannot see it, let me know again. Okay. Teacher, and the the exam we are going to to do on the last class. Yes. Okay. So the last class will be in on Monday. On Monday, yes. We're doing it on Monday. Twenty ninth. Twenty ninth. March of twenty ninth or April five. April five. April fifth. It's gonna be on April fifth. On the twenty fifth. Um, on that April week, 5th. we're not having class. Mm -hmm. Okay. The one. Okay. Now in this report, I'm still missing yesterday and today. Okay, so those days are not included, but okay. let's see. So this is the percentage so far. Now the percentage is a little bit higher than this, right? Because two days are not included yet. Okay, and we're, ne and we're missing the rest of the week and Monday uh, next month, right? So this is your percentage so far. But once again, I'm going to add yesterday and today, and then I'm going to send you the file so you can go checking every single day in a, in a more detailed way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher, I can see my grade. Thank you. <laughs> You're okay. So you can see it now. Right. Good. Yes. All right. Bye. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Teacher, tell um, me. I have a question. In yes. in the um, schoology. Yes. Uh in my in my grade, the in the part of forum, I don't have a, any any You don't have any grade. Great. Yeah, but but I grade grow growth in, in the forum. Yeah. Your forum. This is for week number two. Right. Or is it for three? Let me see. Let me check. Let me check. Okay. So there is a forum in number two. Uh, me, me too, teacher. Okay, let me check. And would you like to? Okay. So, oh yes, I'm missing Elizabeth and Michelle and Ruth. Oh, I think I'm missing this one, this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm, this, I'm missing this one. I'll check it today, all right? Okay. You see, nobody Thank has you. a score. Okay. When there's a when there's an orange dot over here, it means that it doesn't that you don't have um, a score yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. See you, okay. Teacher. okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye. Yeah. Have you. Have a nice Bye. day. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.